then uh, I guess I'm uh, going to speak uh, last a little bit about my sentiments. Um, and one of the projects that I work on that I really is very dear and near to my heart. Uh, so I was born and raised in Iran. Don't hold that against me. Um, I left, I escaped actually. I escaped Iran in 1989 and this December will be 30 years that I'm in the United States of America. Oh, yes, yes. Um, I have to tell you that I'll, I'll get to, I work for Philos Project. Philos Project is an organization that promotes positive Christian engagement in the Middle East. And uh, I also have my own organization that brings aid to the Assyrians who have been completely devastated in the hands of Al-Qaeda and ISIS starting 2003. Uh, but cultural preservation uh, is, has always been near and dear to my heart. And I'll tell you, uh, my father uh, used to study Kabbalah in, <coughs> Russian, in the Russian language. And he told me, when you walk at school, make sure not to step on the Israeli flag and the American flag that have been painted. And they for used to force us to walk on them. And I would tippy-toe around it as much as I could because I always, he taught me to honor Israel and, Amer and America. So I grew up loving uh, this land. I'm not gonna say your land, this land, and um, you, my people. Um, I see, aside from language, we have so many other similarities, culturally, um, from a historic persecution. Um, ours has become a perpetual persecution, really, and it's a blessing that you have this land, and I hope that soon we will make Aliyah to Nineveh. Um, I remember I went, uh, I've heard repeatedly that the that Assyrians in Iran, Assyrians in Iraq, uh, have always missed the presence of the Jewish people. And I didn't really understand it until, uh, in Iran, the number has dwindled down. Uh, in Iraq, it's probably maybe 15 people across the country. Uh, last June of 2018, I took a delegation of two Jewish people, one rabbi and three American Christians to northern Iraq, and we went to Berber. Berber is a region in the north bordering Turkey, where um, I had found on a prior trip a synagogue that had been, uh, that was laying in ruins. So I made sure to take this delegation there on Saturday to quietly um, celebrate Shabbat. So we celebrated Shabbat in Berber that probably hadn't seen Shabbat in decades. Uh, we did it quietly and one of the members of this village, the Assyrian one that had come, an older gentleman, held my hands and started to cry and said, I miss these people. I miss this language. When are we going to be welcoming them back? So that's the sentiment of the Assyrians towards the Jews. And we always call you Qariban, people who are close to us. Um, and one of the cultural similarities that I just recently came to realize about is uh, we, I don't know about the other Assyrians, I've never talked about it because it never hit me until recently, that we too observe Shabbat in a very Semitic way. My mother refuses to um, work, paint, or sew yes. on Saturday evening until Sunday evening. Yes. So we too observe Shabbat. So our, our faiths and our cultures are so similar to yours. I wanted to point that out. And what was that? Uh, yes, yes, and eating pig was not normal until recently for us. In fact, the Bishop of Chicago, Marcos, told me that recently as well. Um, I bring Assyrians, through Philos Project, I bring Assyrians, Assyrian young people here to get to know you, to get to know the Jewish identity, the Jewish society, to break some of the stigma, and my life's goal is to create more Middle East Christians that are pro-Israel, that are pro-Jewish. And I will end it with this. Dr. Maoz graced us in Chicago, in North America really, with his presence. Assyrians across the world have embraced you, have welcomed you and love you, and love you all. And in one of our meetings, I told the director that we were meeting, he was, he's Jewish, I told him, I said, I liken the Jewish soul to the most beautiful composition of colors, of hues. When I touch a Jewish soul, I see a beautiful composition of colors that are not of this earth, but are from heaven. Thank you for welcoming me. Thank you.
We owe all of this to you. We honor you, Dr. Maos, and we love you. We look forward to so much more with you all. Thank you.